Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Sunday, October 16, 2011, and this is a Zero News update from the, from the garage on the Muller Motor Project. Um, quite to my surprise, I was down at Home Depot earlier this afternoon, and uh, it was one of the few places I would have expected to find a new bandsaw blade for my Ryobi, but just so happens they sell 9-inch Ryobi bandsaws. So I took a shot and Sure enough, they had some Vermont American 59 and a half, 15 tooth bandsaw blades. So I still have two on order from Holyoke, Massachusetts. They will show up. I'll keep those as extras. And uh, I was able to replace the blade on my bandsaw, finish roughing out the rotor assembly for the next build of the Muller motor. And the next step, of course, is to create an extension for the table of my drill press. I'm going to take this piece of wood right here, I'm going to cut it to length, and it will, it will hang out and extend beyond the, the end of the table, uh, probably to about mm, here. And what I'll do is I'll drill a hole, put a pin through the center of the rotor, the, the rotor and it will spin on the table extension and I will simply move the table extension in towards the head of the router bit that I'll be using in the chuck of the drill press to uh, create a finished edge and make the the rotor perfectly round around the uh, around the center hole that's been drilled. One thing that I want to note at this point uh, is safety. The bit in the chuck spins clockwise looking from the top. So when I have my rotor bit, what I want to do is I want to feed the rotor in very slowly to the, to the router bit and rotate my piece, my work, in the opposite direction that the bit is spinning so that there's no possibility that the bit will grab my work and spin it. I see. Am I rotating it? No, I'm rotating it in the same direction. I'm rotating it against the direction of the edge of the blade. So if my, if my bit is spinning from the top in a clockwise direction, I will be spinning my piece against the bit in a clockwise direction, moving it in slowly so that, uh, so that there's no possibility that the, the piece that I'm working on can grab against the bit. When, when I move it in. need to be very careful about that and I'll be going very slowly as I do this. So that's it for now. Glad everybody's watching. I hope you're enjoying the project as much as I am building it. Please tell your friends. Please rate my videos and subscribe and comment below. Everybody take care. Peace.
you have it. A piece with a very nice finished edge. Incidentally, I will uh, I will be using this same fixture when I'm drilling out the holes for the neodymium magnets in the rotor because it will keep it exactly evenly spaced from the center as I spin it around. <laughs> 